So today we're talking grapevines and garden beds. That's up next. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to you here today. It is April 2020. So we have gotten a lot of stuff done this spring and of course getting this farm up and running. We're trying to do as much as we can here over the summer while we're kind of in that interim space between planting and planting. <laughs> So we've got a lot of infrastructure to go and one of the big areas that we really want to focus on to make sure we can plant this fall would be our grapevines and our garden beds. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you kind of where all of that's going to be here on the farm. Okay, so first of all, where are we? Uh, Lori is literally standing on our patio. So as we look out from the house and look out onto the farm, this is literally what we see. So as we were figuring out the design of where we are gonna be working behind me here, we wanted to have something that looks really good during the summertime, nice and green, uh, but also maintains our view. So obviously when it comes to that design, you can see behind me, it's pretty nice. We love this view. So we wanted to make sure that we were maintaining that view um, and also have something that is engaging. Also, on top of that, we want to make sure that we're handling the area really well. So we talk a little bit on the channel about permaculture and using permaculture principles where we can and where they make sense. And this is definitely one of those. So what we're dealing with behind us here, about 30 feet or so from the house, would really essentially still be our zone one. So maybe two as we get to the outside of it, but it's essentially still zone one for us. So and essentially what that means is we're dealing with a place that we're going to be going to on a daily basis. So usually every day sometimes multiple times a day. So that's number one. Number two is we wanna make sure we're maintaining our view. So we don't want to have trees and things like that blocking that view that we have. So we're trying to keep that as well. So what we've done is we figured that the best thing we could possibly do is to do a vineyard basically surrounding garden beds. And if you guys have been following us for a while, you'll know on our old property, that's pretty much how we had our vineyard set up as well. So. All that to be said, we're gonna be dealing with the space behind us, planning that out and plotting it out today, but let's go ahead and actually show you some of the details of the plan. Okay, so we have this set up. You guys have probably seen this before. This is basically uh, where we stand today as far as the design of the farm. We've updated a little bit based on some things that we already have in place obviously a house. Uh, we're doing a series right now on our outbuilding that's there. Also the berries, mulberries, that's all here. We have two sets of orchards. This would be the east side and this would be the west side. We have our chicken run and coop here. We'll have a pasture established for them there and we have our citrus orchard here. So those are all things that we've either begun working on or are partially completed. However, the area that we're gonna be looking at today and plotting out today is right here. So you can see we were, I was essentially standing here and I'm now here, okay, as far as reference. North is, north is that direction, south is this direction. So full sun in this area. Now what we're looking at and what we're thinking we're gonna do from a design standpoint, we already know we have irrigation run here. That was on purpose. I also have electrical run here. Well, potentially electrical run here. So we have that there. We plan on putting our grapevines on trellising here. So we'll have kind of an L here, a space here with an arbor that will also grow grapevines over and then continue grapevines back here. Have a nice big gap on both sides so we can easily see through to that view that we see back here and then grapevines again here and here. Then what we're gonna do, we have separate irrigation lines run for each one of these sides is we're gonna have basically a raised bed garden or raised bed garden beds on both sides on the inside. So that's essentially what we're looking at today and plotting out today. Okay, so what you guys are gonna join us with today is again, the plotting and the planning. We're gonna get a few of our T-posts up for where we know we're gonna have trellising for grapevines. And that's probably about as far as I think we're gonna get. However, 
couple things again as far as where we're going to start. So when we had our irrigation, we ran our irrigation here. I've got this covering uh, some of the pipes that we had stubbed up out of the ground so that we're not getting any sun damage on them. You can see we have uh, an actual hose bib here. This is on a swivel so we can swivel a hose into the garden bed or right now it's running over to the mulberries. So we've got this on the outside of this area that we're going to be working on today. I did drive a T-post in here and we have another one on the other side if Lori wants to scan that way. So we did already measure this out because we had to get this measured in order to get our irrigation out into this area. We already determined that we wanted to have about a 30 foot gap between these two posts and that's the space that you see where we'll be flanked on either side with garden beds and grapevines. Again, it'll make more sense as we go through it. However, these are the two things that we had to get placed and measured out before today. So we do know that one side of our grapevine is going to start here. The other side is going to start there because that's where we'll have our irrigation for all of these plants. So now what Lori and I are going to do is we've got a few measuring tools. We want to go ahead and get this figured out as far as distances. Once we do and we get a couple of things in place, we'll come back to you with kind of what we think we're going to do as far as spacing. Okay, so we have the first two posts in. So you saw I actually pulled those T posts out. We wanted to slide them over just a little bit to give space for irrigation to come up onto that corner. So I have the first two, or the corner T posts in. I've got this guy here is 30 feet from the other post. So what we're doing as far as spacing for these grapevines is we're giving a six foot space between the T posts to allow for the vines to essentially grow in that six foot space. Traditional spacing as far as vineyards are concerned are typically between six and eight feet. We're gonna do the smaller spacing which is exactly the same as we did on the old property. We had no issues as far as production in that six foot space. So this allows to get five vines here right on the front side. And as far as our, our actual varieties, we'll cover those in another episode, but that's going to allow us to have several different varieties as we go around this vineyard that's going to be surrounding the garden area. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and get the rest of our corner posts in. So I think we got a little more work to do. One other thing, I don't have these driven in the ground all the way and that's on purpose. This is temporary. So the size T-posts that we're going to be using will be a seven foot T-post that will actually drill a foot into the ground. So just past the T. That'll allow us to get a six foot bar at the top of those posts. So these are going to wind up coming back out. Also why you don't see these smaller T-posts here. So these will be replaced with larger T-posts. And actually I'm not sure if we'll go with a seven foot or an eight foot T-post. We may actually we wind up doing an eight foot T post just to make sure we can get a full six feet out of either one. Either way, we do know these are temporary, so I'm not going to actually drive them all the way into the ground. And I do know that when I replace this, I want to make sure that I have some more virgin ground underneath there that the post is actually going to be driven into. So I don't want this all the way down into the ground. So now what we need to do is go ahead and get to the rest of our posts and get this all measured out. Once we're done, we'll come back to you and show it in the end. Okay, so like that, we're done with one side. So you can kind of see if, as Lori scans that way, you'll see that front corner near the house. Kind of give you an idea of a little bit of the size and scope. We did markings, so I just used some uh, blue marking 
paint on the ground every six feet. So we've got the six foot spaces marked out here. Then I've got a T post on the corner. So what you see is a nine foot gap between here. So the gap that you see on both sides. So we'll have grapevines facing this way, grapevines facing this way. And this gap is specifically for an arbor. So that arbor, we will definitely be doing a video on that here in the future. But I've got a guy that I work with he is a welder and he's actually built something for us once before so we're going to commission him to actually build a custom arbor for this space between the sections of grapevines so we've got this open space here so you'll essentially be able to enter into the garden area here or from the front or from the back so any corner you can get into and we figure we have at least nine feet which is plenty of space for us to get into if we need to with a small tractor or mower anything like that we'll be able to get in there to put in wood chips and we'll have fill soil and all kinds of stuff we're doing in here either way that gives you an idea of the spacing and then of course the end so we did have to come back and kind of square up the corners so we did one side then came back and re-measured the front the distance from the front just to make sure that we had this as square as possible so we're not looking for to be perfect because it doesn't need to be perfect but you know Lori and junky we don't want it looking junky so nice and square is really what we're looking for so now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and get to work and get the exact same thing done on the other side once we're done we'll come back and show it to you okay so like that we are done so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of point out what we got accomplished we showed you a little bit as far as the plan is concerned now you can actually see pretty clearly I hope you can pick it up on camera at least the two different sides of the grapevine garden bed area so we're not too sure exactly what we're gonna call it but probably the grapevine garden either way you can see the outline of where we'll have our grapevines set up so this will be traditional trellising and we'll do videos on how we set that trellising up very very simple process as far as how we do our trellising and it is t-post so it's movable if need be but again very very easy to install either way we have the skeleton of it now so again like the picture showed we'll have it broken up here as Lori scans to the other side you'll have the open area here so you can kind of see we'll have kind of this picture frame that we'll have um, right here with an open area in the middle and then we'll have the grapevines on this side as well now we still have a lot of space on the outsides that we have to figure out but we do know this we've got easy access into every one of these areas we will have garden beds we do need to come back i've got to get some of this mowed down so we can actually lay out the garden beds but we needed to make sure that we had an idea of the size of the grapevine area before we ordered all the materials we are going to have Home Depot drop off bricks, uh, also drop off all of our T-posts because I think we're going to go with an eight foot T-post. So we can drive it a little further into the ground and those we need to order online. So we are going to have those delivered. Once we get that set up, we'll actually circle back around for you guys so you can see us actually installing all the T-posts, getting the grapevines going and also the garden beds themselves established. Either way, I think we've got the skeleton set up. So we've got the basis of our grapevine garden beds. So just want to thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Questions or comments, leave those in the comments section down below. Instagram and Facebook, we post content there you won't see here on the YouTube channel. And our Amazon shop, I'll leave a link down in the description. That is a free painless way to help support the channel. If you start with that link, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So just want to thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you. All right. Don't know why I'm standing that way. <laughs> Hello, everyone. The <laughs> what are you laughing at? What happened? When you said that, it was like that. Pork chops and applesauce. Pork chops and applesauce. Great vibes garden bands. I think I'll be able to <clears throat> point it out really, really well. I'll be Vanna.